What's up guys, it's Master Ninja B52 here and what we're going to entitle this video is episode number one of the current playing Brawl Stars series. So this series is about my current gameplay and what I'm just about to do. And then my old videos, uh, I'll entitle those old gameplay episodes 1, 2, and 3 and I think 4 so um, right now we're just unlocking the previous seasons Tara's Bazaar um, Bazaar's um, Gale Pins and also we're going to unlock the Merchant Gale skin and, uh, and we're going to play uh, as Merchant Gale we just got some power points for Surge so I think that's the maximum that you can get but we still haven't leveled him up yet so that's going to be for another episode um, we're going to level up Surge and Max and try to get his gadgets and um, star powers but now we got Merchant Gale let's check him out here so as you can see I have three brawlers, 0, 8, and 86 trophies. So Surge has 0, 98, and Gale button? has 86. So more accurately, it should be an 86 to 500 uh, multi-part series. It. So this part one what of pushing button? Gale. So we're going to push Gale to 500 trophies. Look at that. So he has his snake. That's supposed to be a cobra. It's nice. Let's try him out here in the training cave. Does it look like blue sand or is that mini snakes coming out from his snake basket? It's kind of cool, guys. But I kind of dig the default skin of Gale more. Uh, the snowblower. But this is cool too. So this one of my new favorite skins and let's hop on to a game okay we got gem crab we got nanny and um, spike and I always forget to actually put down the jump pad uh, in front of spawn um, and and I did this over and over again um, throughout this uh, first push to I think 200 trophies um, but I always forget that I'm playing Gale and I'm supposed to put a jump pad immediately after I, uh, the first spawn so um, if you can see in, in, in this video and in, in all of the other gameplays I go back to the spawn sometimes and put the jump pad down because some of my teammates the random teammates have uh, are are disappointed and put some uh, sad faces or angry faces on their uh, um, brawler pin. So I die again. I'm dying quite um, frequently here. Um, but you never know. In any kind of uh, situation, um, you can die a lot and still win the game. And so I think that was pretty awesome to get that M's. Now we have control of 8 gems um, and Nanny's gonna come um, but Nanny okay <laughs> goodbye Nanny but the thing is you're still ahead 9-3 so you, sh you shouldn't really push that much and we're just being pushed down to our spawn so we have to take it patiently and hide behind uh, cover instead of going out and trying to get that 10th uh, gem right away so we wait for Nanny uh, Ems is going to do that. Um, and we get the tenth gem, and it should be GG, right? But uh, watch what happens to Spike. I don't know if he really wanted to do this, but uh, I kind of activate the jump pad. But the, I, I sh he he goes on the jump pad and <laughs> goes in the middle, and he gets blasted. And uh, luckily we. We get Surge here, somehow, and get the 13 gems back. But, I mean, <laughs> what was Spike doing there, guys? Comment down below if you think uh, Spike did that on purpose. 
but um, yeah in the end we still got the win but it was pretty close because of that yeah and we get star player okay so 86 to 94 Alright, so uh, I tried a little bit more games. I tried um, Solo Showdown, but that didn't work so well. So now we're trying Do Showdown with Urbina. So we got two two gems or two power cubes, and this Colt is being nasty. So we're trying to get this Colt. Basically, Max is just Colt but fast, right? So an upgraded Colt. All right, we have three power cubes. We're bullying. Oh no, we tr we tried to bully that that bull. Oh, but and and his teammate got the power cubes. Some of the power cubes. Oh, and this Nina. Nina gets dominated by us. Scale. Seven power cubes. Oh, and our Max is really aggressive. Still have has that invincibility. And Poco. He doesn't st stand a chance. This is a good comp, guys, for Duo Showdown. Gale and Max. So we're just trying to get the last team. Uh, he's gonna get back his uh, teammate soon, so we're just trying to find him. Uh, I think Max found him. Uh, he found Pogo again. Uh, but now, uh, yeah, Barley, no chance. Oh, Win. <laughs> so Gale, especially in the lower trophy range, I guess it's pretty easy. Um, but Gale is pretty good. Um, I think the best brawlers in this game would be Surge, Gale, uh, Mr. P, and Carl. Those are the top four Owen brawlers. <laughs> so. Anytime you just want to help your teammate get the power cubes. Let's see if we can get this second power cube. Um, but Surge is there. But we'll try. Trying to bully him out. We didn't get it. And we were we were too aggressive. So I mean sometimes you have to get the second power cube. Uh, but we paid for it. And I'm uh, Urbina is a uh, random but even if we got defeated there, um, Urbina wanted to play again. And I think that's pretty important, guys. Uh, if you have a good team, even you know with randoms, you won before and then you lost, I think uh, you should actually try to win again with the same, uh, with the same uh, teammates. And uh, especially if, if they're not random, your teammates, you actually made a custom team or a made team then um, I think it's your responsibility to try and try and work it out rather than be angry that you didn't win and not play with them again and so we get that pull and uh, you know uh, Gale's star power is pretty nice because um, when you actually push uh, your opponents with your super they get uh, stunned and I think that's uh, the better star power to have rather than the one that actually gives your teammates a power boost when they get caught uh, against your super so and it's easier actually it's very difficult to catch your teammates uh, through your super and do something really productive with it and Colt doesn't have any power cubes but his teammates gonna come soon so we have to defeat him uh, very quickly here. Um, we saw his teammate in that bush on the bottom. And we push him into the obstacle right there. And get our 11th power cube and hunt this guy down. Yep. They're a pretty pesky team, this guy, the, uh, the Colt and the the Jesse. And we should finish it right here. We get the Jesse, and now we're gonna get the Colt. And that's a win, guys. 
So that's the lesson, you know, just keep on trying with the same teammates, communicate, try to be on Discord or some other uh, voice server, um, and and have some, some comms actually. Uh, I think that would uh, work pretty well, especially in the tro uh, higher trophy ranges. And now, we actually... Um, this is the start of a great run with some randoms that I played in 10 straight games with. So, uh, th this particular, uh, these particular teammates of mine, LLC and Maximu, we played 10 straight games together and won 8 straight. And I think, you know, our te uh, teamwork was on point, especially for this map. And so what you want is that to really put your team in a in a situation where all three of you are ganging up on one one opponent so that you can easily defeat other brawlers and that's what I did so you can see guys I really forgot to put another jump pad as we stun that B and get that but I, I always have forgotten to put a jump pad and uh, that LLC guy um, always gets angry with me when I don't put it down immediately after the first spawn so and I never really learned my lesson so here you know there's three of us actually ganging up on that um, the enemy and I think that was the key for us to win eight in a row uh, to know when each other was in trouble when the other uh, person was in trouble and and try to bail them out and that's it this is the first first of eight straight wins um, uh, the unfortunate thing guys was that I wasn't able to get a screen cap of the other seven wins um, because I thought you know uh, we could have gotten the replay but again the replay only shows up if there is a 400 trophy brawler um, and so you can see that we have a replay for an another one uh, but it wasn't with LLC and Maximo so that's win number one win number two win number three we got star player win number four five six seven eight and we got beat actually but we still stuck together and got a ninth win so eight wins in a row with the same team we we got beat and then we played again for the last time and this is the replay of that again I forget I forget the jump pad guys <laughs> um, yeah so now uh, yeah I'm trying to help them first okay with uh, Shelly and El Primo and now I'm gonna go back and put the jump pad down because that's really important it really um, shortens the time that you need to go to the middle uh, yeah okay I got hit there but all three of us ganged up on that one brawler and and on this old El Primo also and that's the key to success guys so here our teammate went down but we still there's still two of us here in the middle so we can actually hit El Primo and El Primo is a short range brawler so we can do that I think the great thing about this composition um, is that we have all of us have long range except uh, Tara but Tara has a great super that can actually change the tide of the game and so we still have 8 8 gems and we're playing good so. and we keep keep uh, covering each other so there's no danger of one going down and then not being able to recover the gems there almost accidentally goes on the jump pad and that's a win guys that win gives us 221 trophies guys so we pushed from 86 to 221 the reason why we started at 86 because was that uh, from 0 to 100 trophies you almost always get bots so that would be boring content anyway we will keep on pushing 
221 now to 500 I'll put out more videos on that until we get to 500 and of course we will push surge and we will push nanny and of course getting their star, uh, getting su surges star power so that's it for today thank you for watching and please subscribe see you in the next video